everybody, it's Marion <clears throat> from Life Unboxed, and uh, today is Saturday, and this is unusual for me be, to make a, a video on Saturday and post it, but you know what? I just realized that I have not done a book review in quite a while, so I'm going to talk about a few books, and I'm also going to talk about a little gift that I got um, in a package that Nate got. He got a pat his uh, mail, uh, fan mail Friday, and there was something in there for me, and I was so excited. So I'm gonna go over this right now. Um, this is from Carrie. Um, oh my gosh, I, I threw the envelope away, so I don't remember what her last name was, Carrie. Um, but anyway, you know who you are, Carrie. She wrote me a lovely letter here, wrote me and Nate a beautiful letter, and she sent me some pictures that she drew. Very nice pictures, good artist she is. And it's the great pumpkin. And so what other thing she sent was these face masks. And Carrie, if you're watching, Watch on Monday because I'll be doing one of these face masks. So, and I want to say thank you to Carrie for sending me these lovely gifts. The pictures, the letter, and the face mask. So, thank you so very much. Um, <clears throat> also, I'm drinking a cup of tea. I'm doing a little bit of a um, cleanse. So... This is a cup from Seam, and she is from Netherlands. Her husband does videos on YouTube, and um, <clears throat> he draws mostly Halloween uh, characters. So go watch him, and I'll put his videos or his channel down below. Okay, so the last um, up update on the books that I've been reading was quite a while ago and I was involved in reading Ghosted which was a good book and I think I did a review on that already it was a pretty good book I would say it was worth reading <clears throat> after that I tried to get I tried to get into this no wait a minute Shamed was the next novel I read and that was also a very good book um, one, somebody told me that this was a series of like 16 books. I didn't know that. So now I have to go look for some more of these by Linda Costello. Um, <clears throat> this was a really good book. And um, so without going into detail, this was a very deep, tragic, and um, suspenseful novel. So if you're interested, go uh, find this book and read it. I found this at the Goodwill, so I'm sure you could find it also. Then I tried to get into reading The Baby Catcher Gate, and um, you know, if a book doesn't get me right away, then I just put it down. And the other one that I could not get into either was uh, The tr a Tree Grows in Brooklyn. And um, it's just too slow for me. And that's how far I got with it. So I know it's a classic and I know every, you know, a lot of people have read it and they love it, but I just couldn't get into it. So what I'm, then I read John Grissom, the judges list. Uh, Nathan got me this for Christmas and um, love it. Love all his books. Um, these are uh, this is a story about judges uh, a judge being killed a couple of judges being killed um, it's just good it's just a good book it's John Grissom and you know he is a really really good author what am what am I reading now okay so the next book that I'm reading at this time is playing for pizza this is a little bit of a different uh, book from John Grissom. It's about a quarterback 
that was playing for the Cleveland, Cleveland Browns, and he dropped the game at the last minute, and they were really all upset with him, and he got fired. So, his, uh, his um, coach is trying to find him another team, but nobody wants him. So he goes, uh, he gets a call from someone in Italy, and uh, so this kid is going to go to Italy and play for um, a team over there in uh, Parma. It's called the Parma Packers. So this is all I've gotten so far with that. So, so far it's, it's okay. Um, I hope it gets a little more exciting, but that's, that's it. So, um, I don't think I have anything else to, um, I did pick up some more books at the Goodwill. The Girl on the Train. Nathan and I watched that movie a couple of months ago and it was, I liked it. Um, I don't think he was too enthralled with it though. <laughs> I also picked up uh, The Art of Sign Language, so that is an interesting book. Um, I did also pick up The Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks. Um, I'm not too sure about this, but um, I did see this movie quite a few times. I really liked it. So, um, let's see. The Jury by Fern Michaels. I've heard that she's a good author. I don't know. I've never read any of her books. So that I'm looking forward to reading. And then I also picked up the Patriot Games. These are all from the um, Goodwill. Then I got this one. I don't know if anybody has read Francine Rivers' books. She's a Christian author, and she does amazingly good work. And this is a shame, Unashamed by Francine um, Rivers. She has a lot of books out. Another book I got was The Help. We've all seen that um, movie on TV. Um, I got this one too at Goodwill. Um, let's see what else. Another Nicholas Sparks at First Sight. I have not read that yet, but I'm looking into it. Two Rivers by T. Greenwood. Not sure what that one's about either. Um, what else here? The Summer Kitchen by Lisa Wingate. I didn't, I started that I think, but it just didn't grab me right away, but I will definitely give it another chance, another try. Uh, Beverly Lewis, The Missing. That is another uh, Amish book. Uh, let's see. The Secret by Beverly Lewis. And I've got The Hunger Games. I've got this one called The River Palace by Gilbert Morris. A stor the storied Civil War has just ended. Uh, da, 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 da. Saving an older woman in a group. From a terrible accident. So, you know, that's going to be a love story. Um, this one looks interesting. Longborn by Joe Baker. Um, captivating, irresistible. Baker pulls off the seemingly impossible. A completely fresh take on Austin. Utterly engrossing. That's good. Um, John Grisham, Boys from Biloxi. Awesome book. And two more. Uh, one more, sorry. Kristen Hanna, The Four Winds. Did I read this yet? Huh. Yes, I did read it. It's a good one. Very, very good one. It's about every corner of the United States where they have stopped and lived. They were on a big old farm. A big storm came along. Wrecked everything. Everything in the town was just depleted, and they had to move on. Very good. Okay, that's it. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, and if you are a new subscriber, I thank you. Thank you all for helping me reach the 2,000 mark. 
And don't forget there's a giveaway and um, I will post that down below in the comments as well. And um, don't forget to hit that uh, bell and you'll be notified when I upload another video and share the video too, if you would. I thank you so much and don't forget to be kind to one another. It is a rough world out there and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.